Well, welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. We are currently on the eve of uh, the full moon event. I think we're pretty much taking care of everything here. So we are going to go ahead and we're just going to head to uh, get coffee tonight. We were warned about the full moon event, by the way. So um, don't tell me that you weren't warned because we were. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stay here as a customer and get some coffee. Flonia Mall, Chagall Cafe. You enjoy a cup of pheromone coffee. You feel people looking at you. Is this an effect of the coffee? Your charm has increased. It's getting late. You decide to go back to the dorm. You recall the story you heard at the outskirts of the station. You decide to ask the teacher about the missing girl, Fuka Yamagishi, today. Gekokan High School. Gekokan High School. Faculty office. I don't know why I put a break in there. You came to ask Mr. Ikoda about Fuka Yamagishi's disappearance. Huh? Someone is already at Mr. Ikoda's desk. It's Mitsuru and another student. Oh, Mitsuru Senpai. Why are you here? Same reason as you. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! I... I never thought it'd turn out like this! What? Fuka... Wait, you're that girl! What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Mitsuru. This isn't an interrogation. Shut up, yes it is. Matsuki, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she... She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. And then... I realized... She's an honor student, but... Deep inside, she's just the same as us. I knew exactly which buttons to push. We were just messing with her that day, too. May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym. And locked the door from the outside. What? You locked her in? That night, Maki returned to school alone. She was afraid we'd get in trouble if Fuka committed suicide. What the heck? But she never came back. And the next morning... She was found lying on the ground by the gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us went missing. And they each ended up like Maki. I see. By the way, Mr. Ikoda, all this time, you've attributed Yamagishi's absences to illness. But in reality, she was missing. You must have been aware of that. What was your intention? I was thinking of the students, of course. My ass you were. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. You mean you chose not to report this to the police for the good of the class? It... it was in her best interest. Somebody put this man in jail. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agree. Wait, who? So, to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. How despicable. I, I... I didn't. I... I was just... Uh... No, you just did. This guy's gonna be gone. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual before the incidents? Anything at all? <laughs> they all heard a voice. A voice? A creepy voice. Right before each of them went missing. They said it was calling their name. Oh, man... Oh, senpai, could it be? The ghost! It's them. No doubt about it. Until now, there was no way of knowing how or why some people are conscious during the dark hour. Are you seriously talking about this in front of everybody? But it's the voice. It draws them in. It's not a random phenomenon. This whole thing has made me realize they're clearly targeting humans. We're the teacher's Shadows right there. Are the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. It's the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave the room, no matter what. 
If you can do that much, you should be okay. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. Fuka. Shiomi. Iori and Takeba, too. What's up? We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. T tonight? Yeah, it's gonna be tonight. We're going to rescue Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. That's probably bad. Gekko Kan High School, student council room. Everyone gathered is wearing a stern face. Tonight, we will infiltrate the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, um, I don't get it. Is Fuka inside the school somewhere? And why at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Yes. Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. Then, ever since Fuka got locked in the gym, she's been stuck there? That's correct. But that was ten days ago. That means... Not necessarily. We can't jump to conclusions. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So what about the rest of the day? Now that you mention it... It's probably about ten hours. This is only a theory, but I think time may function differently with respect to Tartarus. So, even though it's been ten days for us, perhaps only ten hours have passed for her. It's possible she's still alive. Wow, you think so? Uh, but the dark hour is pretty brutal. We could barely handle an hour. How's she gonna last ten? That's true. And even if she's still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna let her die then? No, oh, yo. I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus exactly how Fuka did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That's the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? Yes, ma'am. Honestly, I have reservations. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I won't stand by and do nothing if there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. Okay, if so he goes If you guys don't go, then I'll go by myself. Think, no, stop. Yes, we're going. Senpai? All right. We're aware of the risks, but we can't just leave her there. I agree. And we won't know until we try. Cool. We get to sneak into the school. <laughs> In that case, I know just what to do. Huh? Uh, what? The dormitory command room. Everyone is ready to go rescue Fuka Yamagishi. This is a bit worrisome. I can't get a hold of the chairman. I guess we can handle it ourselves. There's one problem, though. Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set to go. Set to go? An explosive? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. We don't have time to waste. Let's go. Excuse me, what are we blowing up? What did, what did Junpei do? Excuse me, what? An explosive? For real? Nah. All I did was unlock a door. Uh, oh. Gekokan High School, second floor. See? We got in no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is that really something to brag about? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. We. Oui. <laughs> no what time was for that? compliments. Let's go. <laughs> What's the big deal, anyway? Trey Ben? What is that, French? Lousy seniors and their lousy French. Classroom 2F. Uh, can we turn on the lights? Oh, you scared? Uh, no! Stupé. Stop calling me that! Quiet. It's better if we leave them off. They cut the power at night anyway. Why? I don't like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. We'll split up into two groups and meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? The faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> Are you planning something unscrupulous under my supervision? If so, then expect to be severely punished. It was a joke. I'd never do something like that. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps I'd best take Iori with me to the janitor's room. Head to the faculty office. I leave it to you who to take along with you. Uh, we'll go with Akiko this time. Very well. 
Then Takebo will accompany us to the janitor's room. We'll meet back up in the main hallway. Okay, so let's see here. We've got PA room. We've got student council room. Uh, I think we need to go down to the first floor here. Main hallway. <laughs> Hold up. Someone's coming. The footsteps are getting closer. Who'd be here at this hour? We should hide. The two of you hid behind a pillar. The footsteps faded away. Whew, just a security guard. Uh, uh, will we get arrested? <laughs> well, considering that we're sneaking around the faculty offices after hours, We'd at least be expelled. Let's just make sure we're not caught. All right, he's gone. Let's go. All righty, I think we need to go over here. And we need to go into the faculty office. No one seems to be in the office at the moment. Faculty office, the two of you searched for the key. Here, I found it. The gym storage key. All right. Uh, wasn't it the gym key? Huh? Uh, I see. <clears throat> Got a little excited. Akihiko is rummaging through the keys. You spot a key right next to where he's looking. It says gym on it. Uh, no good. It's not here. Must be in the janitor's room where Mitsuru and the others went. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Uh, I found it. Let's go. Oh, so you had it. Well, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> We're good. Well, at least we found it. Come on, let's find the others. Obtain gym key. They said to meet up at the main hallway, right? We should get going. Mitsuru and the others were already waiting at the entrance hall. Did you find a key? Hi. Yeah, piece of cake. It's thanks to me. We'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour has begun, I'll determine Yamagishi's position. I'll go. You should come too. You can take the lead, like always. Um, then I'll be the third. Wait a second. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. Sweet, thanks. Seriously? What's wrong, Yukari? You don't want to stay behind with Mitsuru? Um, no, it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Meanwhile, in a vacant room at the dormitory. I... I'm all alone after all. Fuka. Huh? No! No! I don't want to hear this! Calling me. I... I have to go. Tell her I'm sorry. Fuka. Well, shoot. Inside the school, which has become Tartarus during the dark hour. Yukari and Mitsuru are waiting at the entrance. Um... We still haven't heard back from them. The transceiver's sensitivity is set to high, too. Oh, yeah. That girl, Natsuki? I hope she's okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't possibly bring her here, and one of us staying behind was out of the question. Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> but we're all here for Fuka's sake. This is Mitsuru. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Is he out of range? 
I'm starting to get worried. It seems you were unconscious. You appear to be inside Tartarus. But you don't seek Akihiko or Junpei. You can't hear Mitsuru either. Are you awake? Yeah, <laughs> Child! This is the first time we've spoken outside of your room. Um, why are you here? <laughs> I told you, remember? I'm always with you. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. Okay, then. I hope we can speak again. Was the child protecting me? Because it's creeping me out. The mysterious boy disappeared. Okay. So, this is a lot of story. Communication is breaking up. Are you a oh, distance too far can't provide backup? You've got from Akihi... Communication has been lost. Now, luckily, this isn't too big of a deal. We want to head, uh, let's see here, this way. And, okay, well, I was gonna say we can just dodge past these guys, but no, no, we can't. Uh, so let's see here. I think most of the enemies are pretty much the same here, although I don't have them uh, pulled up, actually. Yeah, I'm scrolling through. I'm scrolling through my information, by the way. I don't remember off the top of my head, but these guys are weak too. Uh, these guys are... Oh, I actually can't scan... I can't scan them. Fine! Anyway, these guys are weak to ice. We need... Um, let's see, do we have ice? I don't... Yes, we do. Now, because we don't have friends with us, we can't actually, like, do all-out attacks or anything like that. But we should be okay, and we are, like, way... Like, we're way powered than than normal enemies, so don't worry too much about it. But if we head this direction and head up here, communication is breaking up. Akihiko and aren't this floor. Who's there? Are you human? Communication has been lost. And I want to go ahead and jump in through the stairs here. Communication is breaking up. What's your current locate? Reply in me. Where am I? Why am I here? Please answer me. Communication has been lost. Uh, most of the enemies here, they, they, they actually thought about this. Um, they are, in fact, just, I think it's most of them are just one enemy, so we should be fine. Oops, I didn't want to try and contact Mitsuru. I wanted to attack, but it's fine. Oh. So, uh, the sole answer here was distressed. Uh, you know what? We could probably just use it. Really? You really should try and avoid the enemies here, but honestly, the ones that we do face aren't that big of a deal. Communication is breaking up. Can you hear me? Please answer. Is someone there? Please answer me. Communication has been lost. And you can largely avoid things in here. Uh, I'm trying to grab some of the medicines and stuff. There are like a whole bunch of them in here. Um, oh, no, 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 no. No, thank you. Hey, you two. Hey, there she is. What's up? Man, we were worried about you. I was lost. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Fact. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice while you were in here? Uh, kind of like... Who is this? Are you human? That's it! That's the voice! It sounded like it came from behind us. Uh... Ah! A girl is looking your way from the shadows. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes! Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, Junpei's here! Shut up, Junpei. I'm glad you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Looks like we made the right decision. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. Where are we? I was at school, and then... Well, it's a long story. I'll explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? <sighs> No good. All I hear is static. 
Oh, yeah. Are, are you hurt? Have you uh, run into any monsters? So there are strange creatures in here, then. I've managed to avoid them so far. Are you serious? How's that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you psychic? Probably. She has the same power as Mitsuru. Maybe even stronger. Since Mitsuru's persona is more battle-oriented. Persona? Hang on to this. Akihiko gave Fuka an evoker. <gasps> but... but this is... Think of it as a lucky charm. It's not really a gun. Um, okay? Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, just hand the woman a gun. Like, she's gonna know what to do with it. Inside Tartarus, at a hallway with a view outside. Whoa, check out the moon. Creepy, right? I've never seen it so bright. Some research indicates that the shadows are affected by the faces of the moon. I think this was far more of a thing in previous games. Um, where, like, for, like, shadows would do different things. I think some of the other games, the Shin Megami Tensei games, have moon phase stuff. Of course, the same can be said for humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Settle. Hey. Wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Yes, it was. Was it? Yeah. I think so. Why? Hey, did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Uh, I think it was full. Today is the 8th. The monorail incident happened last month around the same time. And the assault on the dorm was a month before that. They were all during a full moon. Mitsuru, are you there? Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful! Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is this thing? It's much bigger than the others, and it's attacking someone! Damn it! What's going on? It's one of them! If my guess is right, they come every full moon! We have to hurry! Hey, hey, hey! Wait for me! Okay. We have finally gotten here. Meanwhile, at the entrance to Tartarus, Mitsuru and Yukari are having trouble against the giant shadows that suddenly appeared. Uh, uh. What's going on? Nothing's working! Mitsuru! What in the world? Akiko senpai we gotta distract those shadows somehow! I know just how to do it. Hey! If it's a fight you want, we'll give it to you. Be careful. Normal attacks won't work on these shadows. Someone entered the lobby from outside Tartarus. F Fuka, why are you here? More Yamasan? Please get out of here. It's dangerous. I I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. Hey, look out! Moriyama-san! I need to protect her. Fuka put the gun to her temple. I think she put the evoker to her temple, not the gun. It's not a gun. Fuka-san? A persona? I can see. I... I can sense these monsters' weaknesses somehow. Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take your place. We'll take care of this. Okay, so this is a pain in the ass fight, but luckily we should be fine. What is with the... This is cool, the clocks in the background. Um, I'll try and find out the enemy's weakness. Just let me know when. Okay, so we can scan these guys at any point in time, but to start out with, the Empress is weak to physical and the Emperor is weak to... To okay, just give me some time. Magic. So, what you want to do? Hang on a second here. Uh, we're gonna want to switch persona here. Let's see. Eventually, we're gonna be using this persona because it's got Mazio, so we'll be able to figure out which of the uh, enemies is weak to physical and which one is weak to um, not physical. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. We want to use physical on Empress here. Now, she is weak 
and we'll fall down, of course. Right, so job. wanna make sure we do that. Let's go ahead and use a Zeo on Emperor so you guys can check it out. They're gonna be using a skill called Paradigm Paradigm Shift. I've been waiting for this. So okay, that will be when now. it switches and we're not gonna be sure what happens. Like which should they switch? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's start off with the Empress. We actually are we gonna get to the Paradigm Shift. Where we're going. That's your chance. Go. This battle's actually pretty easy. The the I say it's a pain in the butt because the chance. shift and let's you don't know who is here, the what. That enemy seems to be getting weaker. Also, the fact that you are um, one character short Way makes this a little time. bit more difficult. Persona. This is nowhere near like the hangman later in the game. I've so. been waiting for this. Okay, now. Okay, so that takes care of Empress. First of all, ow. Choice. The enemy is I've down. Been for this. And we're done. Okay. So not even a big problem. The first battles here are actually pretty easy, and we are pretty well leveled. Uh, if you were under leveled, you may have some issues, but that we're good. Was amazing. Ooh, look at that experience. Oh yeah. By the way, um, we just did a uh, Radical Dreamers episode with Polydeuces in it, so that's hilarious to me that uh, Akihiko's persona is called Polydeuces. Are there more of them? Don't worry, it's over. How are you now? Fuka, you... are you alright? Yeah, thank goodness. Fuka fell unconscious. Fuka? It's all right. She's just exhausted. Fuka? Fuka, I... Where did these two shadows come from? From somewhere outside of Tartarus, just like before. I see. Um, what are we gonna do about Natsuki? She saw the Dark Hour and the shadows. Don't worry, she's not like us, so she won't remember any of it. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the shadows, even though she obviously heard their call. She should be safe from now on. But that means she'll forget Fuka saved her life, right? That doesn't seem fair. Actually, I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. I think she's learned her lesson. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't easy, but you managed to rescue Fuka. You wonder about the mysterious boy who appeared again. His warnings seem to be more than just dreams. Hmm. You are too exhausted to make any sense of it right now. You decide to rest as soon as you get back to the dorm. You've become tired. Woo! That's actually a good thing. Hey, I was thinking. Do you think the Zero Senpai saved Fuka because it was the right thing to do? Or was it just because she's a Persona user and we need her? Uh, probably for the right reasons. I guess so. Hmm. Well, whether or not she joins us is up to her. Sorry to bring this up out of the blue. Class is ended for today. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Um, we're going to be hanging out with Yukari today. Do you guys have anything else to say? I don't think they do. Do you guys have anything else to say? Remember what I told you? They all just fainted because they were out all night. That's not exactly apathy syndrome. I heard those people who fainted woke up, so I guess that means they didn't have apathy syndrome? Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Perhaps they didn't. Oh, hey, Hide... Hide Hitoshi is out here. Hey, Katone-kun. I'm still looking for the smoker. Tell me if you find any new info. Interesting. I don't know if there's anybody else hanging around today. Maybe we should go out and about. 
But first things first, actually I'm gonna go ahead and head to the nurse's office because we do wanna up our courage. By the way, um, I'm in the re remastered edition and if you press triangle, you can actually bypass a lot of the text. Um, I'm gonna do that for the nurse's office because it just takes forever. But yeah, we do wanna actually go there and uh, do that. Okay, well let's go ahead. Um, I actually wanna head out into the town anyway because there is something we wanna check out because there's something new. Let's see, do you have anything else to say? No, nope, you have all the same stuff. Do you have anything to say? Nope, he's also a good thing, or says the same thing. What about you? Did you hear that, uh, what was it, the apathy syndrome? There was a victim at GeckoCon. He was friends with my son, Senpai. A victim in your own neighborhood? Oh my, I guess we can't say it's none of our business now. My son's teacher's relative son's calligraphy master caught apathy syndrome too. What, what? Anyway, uh, over here we've got the antique store and it's now open. Welcome. Officer Kurosawa tells me you're fighting against the shadows. To the public, this is merely an antique shop, but privately, I create weapons. They are not ordinary equipment, however. My methods involve fusing weapons with personas. But you'll need material assist to assist in the process, such as Void Naginata or Knee Heel Gloves. I'll give you one for free to start out with. Here you go. All right, so you get a Void Naginata here. From now on, you'll need to find your own. The golden shadows carry such materials. There you go, that's what the golden shadows are for. There's another thing you should know, though I'm still researching it, so I'm not certain of this. Depending on the persona you use in the fusion, you can create special weapons. All I can tell you is to experiment for yourself. Ah, I nearly forgot. If you bring me jewels, I'll trade them. The, I'll trade the goods I carry here for them. So um, you can unite, you can use this, and then you can actually fuse them with Persona, as you can see, to create different weapons. Uh, you can also trade for uh, cards. So as you can see here, uh, on the right, it shows like what the cards do. This one like increases luck, increases endurance, increases magic. And then further on down, we actually can get cards that have skills. So we can get regenerate cards, invigorate cards, growth, Null, boost, uh, pretty much a whole bunch of different stuff. This is probably, I think this is one of the more rare ones because of the rubies, if I remember correctly, but there's a whole bunch. And um, we'll unlock these as we go, probably. We can also trade for items, including bead, bead chains. These are some of the big things. Uh, purifying rice, all of that good stuff. Um, I think we got items that we can give as gifts. So there's that. Uh, yeah, we've got all sorts of these. I don't know what these are called. These triangle things. There's a whole bunch of different ones. They're very powerful skills, um, which is very cool. So we can get all that. Let's talk to her. Fusing weapons with Persona is a very simple process. You will you need two items for a successful fusion. First, a metal material, and second, a Persona. You can intensify a fused weapon's strength by fusing another Persona with it. The fused weapon's abilities are determined by the persona. Interesting, is it? I don't think I really did anything with this the last playthrough. Um, maybe I'll talk more about it this time. Probably not. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's get back out of here. I don't think we have any quests or anything that we want to take care of. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to double check on the quest. I don't think we do yet. No, we don't. No, we don't. So, uh, what do you guys have to say? Have you heard that crazy rumor that's going around online? You can get revenge on someone just by signing up at a website. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I'm waiting for my boyfriend. We're going to Wild Duck Burger. All right, well, let's head to the classroom and let's hang out with Yukari for today. I think I have a lover's um, persona, so we're good. Let's accept the offer. Cool, wanna stop somewhere on the way home? Yukari seems excited. Polonia Mall. You went shopping with Yukari. Wanna start off at the pharmacy? I ran out of my color of lip gloss, but what do you think? Hang on, I've got a phone call. Oh. Yukari's expression darkens. Hello. Yeah? What? So, get to the point, okay? Huh? It's not funny. What? How do you think that would make Dad feel? Fine. Do whatever you want. Just don't call me again. Yukari hangs up on the collar. Sorry. Uh, are you alright? That's what you want to say. Oh yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Yukari seems to have calmed down a little. You know who I was with on the phone, right? 
Yeah, it was my mom. She says she wants to get remarried. I don't really care if she wants to get married again, but I can't stand how she's been living. Running away from life, jumping from guy to guy. I don't think that's fair to my dad. Yukari seems to be upset. You quietly stood by Yukari until she calmed down. Sorry, I'm okay now. Thanks. I'll never be like her. I'll never be that weak. Running away to forget your problems is the worst thing you can do. I've decided that I'm going to live on my own. I'll show her that I can be happy that way. Yukari has shared her innermost feelings. You understand her a little better now. All right, rank four. Thank you. For some reason, I feel like I can tell you anything, Katone. That's it. I'm going on a shopping spree today. And you're coming with me, Katone. We kept Yukari company until her shopping spree f finally wound down. Sup, dude? Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are going to the hospital to see Fuka today. I wonder how she's doing. Oh, by the way, Ikitsuki san told me that the antique shop in Polonia Mall is open now. Maybe we should check it out sometime. I already did, so there. Oh, I heard that the antique shop at Polonia Mall is reopening. Ikutsuki san said this owner would help us out. How the hell can an antique shop owner help us out? Unless she has this amazing item created a million years ago that can annihilate shadows. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it is. Just ignore him. But yeah, you should really check it out. Don't forget, it's located inside Polonia Mall. Mitsuru Senpai and Akihiko Senpai are both at the hospital checking up on Fuka, so we won't be going to Tartarus tonight. Everybody's tired anyway. We turned on the television. You have to be prepared and carry an umbrella during the rainy season, and the fight between those with umbrellas and the driving wind is still being waged today. That was our special report. Next, the news, followed by a look at everyone in recovery from the apathy syndrome. Okay, so we've done pretty well here. I'm gonna save because I want to keep my sickness. And I don't really want to have to go back through everything just to uh, keep my sickness. We're going to head to Polonia Mall. Uh, before we wander off... Oh, by the way, this guy's here. Uh, we're not going to talk to him. Uh, oh, you don't have anything new to say? Well, let's head into here. Do you guys have anything new to say? Very well. I feel another change. A strong wind blows across the world, sending a blue flower's petals into the air. I guess she does not have anything new to say. Fine. I didn't want to hear anything from you guys anyway. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to work part-time at Chagall Cafe. Polonia Mall, Chagall Cafe. You sweated it out while working part-time as a waitress. You were given a cup of the cafe's signature pheromone coffee during your break. Your charm has increased. You tried to see how many plates you could hold at once. Your courage has increased. Obtained 3,000 yen for working part-time. It's getting late. You decided to go back to the dorm. Yay, we're still tired. That's what I wanted to see. There's a box in the room. It's the delivery you ordered from the TV show. We got a, a auto taru kaja and a sappy and five sappy jellies actually. Good morning. You might like to know that Yamagishi and Moriyama are healing up well. Hmm, that's good. Yes. We'll need to invite Yamagishi to the dorm and explain what happened. We could definitely use her help. I think we have a little bit of time before that, so... Are we up to the Kamakura era yet? I guess not. Oh man, we haven't even reached the Nara era. Well, let's get through it real quick, then. First, the Taika reforms. They happened in the year 645. Just remember that. Huh? What were they about? Oh, nothing important, really. <laughs> Why even teach it then? Oh my god, I hate teachers. Anyway, later on in 710, there was the Haijo Kyo. That wraps it up for the Nara era. You feel tired. I really freaking do. What? You want to know more? Okay, here's a question for you about the Nara era. What's the name of the anthology consisting of about 4,500 poems leading up to the Nara era? I don't feel like picking on anyone today, so I'll just tell you. It's the Man Yoshu. We're supposed to cover the Kokin Wakashu too, but I don't really care. Ask Mr. Ikoda if you want. Uh, I don't care about any of this. I want to get to the Sengoku era. It's calling out to me. He stayed up and listened to the lecture, but it was basically pointless, but my academics increased anyway. 
class has ended for today. All right, with all of that, actually, let's talk to Yukari before we move on. Supposedly, Fuka-san is still asleep. I'm so worried. Hmm. Do you guys have anything new to say? Oh, okay, hang on. You know how Akihiko-senpai is always with Mitsuru-senpai? Even Akihiko-senpai's fans can't stand up to Mitsuru-senpai. She's special. It's not fair, but there's nothing we can do about it. She's the only exception, though. You and Yukari-san are a different story. Oh, I guess he, she's the only one that has the gall to lecture us today. Did you hear? Uh, what? What is it? You don't know? Well, then let me tell you something awesome, then. Mitsuru-senpai would want a man who likes to study. If I became the smartest in my class, she might accept me, even though I'm a girl. Uh, moving on? <laughs> I don't know what to do with that information. Um, kind of creepy, to be honest. Hang on, I'm looking for people to talk to. When I think of home economics, I think about cooking experiments and that kind of thing. I hear that some people burn their textbooks by accident by setting them too close to the stove. I'm getting bored of text messaging. I guess it's good to be in touch with so many people, but pretty soon I'm going to get totally bored of it. Once you lose interest in this kind of thing, you can't get it back. I don't even know what to do with that. Anyway, we have some stuff that I do want to go show off today. At the This will be the last thing that I do. We're going to head to the back alley and we're going to check out the Velvet Room. Because we should actually now have some new requests. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here. We've got a Christmas star, glasses wipes, uh, protein not for pros. Um, I don't think we've quite got that one. So we're going to take the protein not for pros because it, if it says here on the thing that you can acquire it on 616, which is six days away, uh, he wants to explore Iwatodai Station. Uh, we have a little bit of time before that. Three Jack Frost dolls, which are from the Crane game. We'll talk about that later. Um, the shell of a man. <laughs> which is interesting. These don't have deadlines, so we'll get there. Um, we have anything else with a deadline? No, it's just these and this one. So um, the 16th, 20th, and 27th are times where we'll be getting items, and we will also be taking Theodore out and about. Not today. But I think that's going to be it for today, because actually um, we've been recording for a bit, and we've gone through all of the full moon stuff. So I will see you guys next time.